Hey there if you finished your BL manhwa and searching for new one this video for you so watch till the end. I have some BL manhwa for your liking and according to Google and my smart research this list's gonna be amazing so take your seat and let dive in. We going to explore love to exotic journey of manhwa but first if you are new to this channel and sucker of yaoi or BL go ahead and subscribe and share with your friends. So start with some sweet drama webtoon. Touch Your World It's a good example of sweetness and romance this manhwa have a good story ML and main character both are meet in very awkward situation and turn to a lover it's an amazing journey of lots of twist and romantic don't worry this manhwa don't have sexual content and nerd chapter so feel free to read it without any problem I enjoy the story I hope you enjoyed too. Robber X Lover It's a great series with very good art style character or well drawn side character have also a cute story so you will keep getting love doses is. It's also don't have any sexual content any raw stuff. It's pretty light and heartwarming if you like sweet stuff with some cute drama it's for you go ahead and check out. Third falling to where I belong one more cute BL manhwa to keep your heart warningly honest Cheng Fei Kai XA proud and an innocent Zhen Yi Ming, a youngster who doesn't think that relations are important. They fall for each other in first sight where they find hard to love each other because of different lifestyle and personality but when it comes to affection their lust will not stop for one and another. So enjoy the journey of love with them. I want to hear you say that you like me as an ongoing manhwa written by Zhao Pai Su Bing, illustrated by Sweet Berry, and edited by me. The series is published by Billy Billy Comics. Xu Yuan unwittingly discovers that his best friend has fallen in love with him and is now running away from that realization. A sudden incident happened Xu Yuan found himself in different world there he can save his best friend for falling for him. It's really a great series with lots of twist and sci-fi. Don't Say You Love Me is an ongoing manhwa where our Yutong considers Wei Yin as his best friend and for over three years, the only sense of affection Yutong has ever felt from Wei Yin is friendship. Wei Yin is an introverted person who is very immersed into his studies. A quiet and gentle young man who prioritizes doing his work properly and correctly knowing it would make his mother happy, for it is the only thing she have ever wished for, until meeting the extroverted troublemaker, Lin Yutong. Now it's up to you to see their story how it goes. We come to halfway of this video so if you still not subscribe or forget to like now it's a time go and click the bell icon for more updates. So start with some exotic manhwa that has been my favorite for years. Checkmate. Suyin doesn't have a first love, but he definitely has a first hate, his high school classmate Yunsung. A smooth-mannered all-star, Yunsung snaps up first place in everything, leaving Suyin always trailing behind in second place. Winning out over Yunsung is the one thing that motivates Suyin, but after graduation, Suyin contents himself with a dull, mediocre life. One day, Yunsung appears on the news, knee-deep in scandal and, for once, not perfectly at ease, lighting Suyun's inner fires once again. Desperate to see a fallen Yunsung with his own eyes, Suyun jumps into the fray as a reporter, and gets Yunsung to strike an outrageous deal with him. It's a story of hate to love. When hate turned to love and love turned to smut, into the thrill, mature audiences only. Gifted violinist Moon Hawan has been avoiding deep connections after his mother's tragic death. But his life takes a turn when his only friend Taishan commits suicide, leaving Hawan guilt ridden for ignoring his calls. At a police interview, Hawan encounters Hyon Wujin, a special prosecutor and the subject of Taishan's unrequited love. Hawan's life spirals further as he's drawn into an assault case, and he seeks Wujin's help. Their interactions intensify, with Wujin challenging Hawan's emotional barriers. Swayed by Wujin, 
Hawan confronts a tangle of guilt, passion, and fear of true connection. But there are twist when Wujin don't realize but he fall of Hawan and become possessive towards him. Hawan other hand don't want to accept his feelings because cause of a guilt of Taishan death Wujin trying so hard Hawan to accept his love. But still don't want to go any further because of past trauma. Their story is end there. I spoil so much so sorry if I being too honest with you. It's complete its first season and that was awesome full of suspense and smut. So for my mature audiences it's time to read something unexpected. Monday Savior. It's a recent release manhwa and become one of my favorite. Where main character. One Yo Il, who was bullied every Monday because of his name that means, is afraid of Mondays. At the center of the bullying was his best friend, and Yo Il, who had been wandering after dropping out. To a great shock he returned to his new high school where he finds our main lead. Very opposite to Won Yo Il. Who take interest in Won Yo Il life. Having a bad past memories but he enjoyed times with Won Yo Il and become his partner in no time. They both end up together but there's a change in plot. When Won Yo Il old classmate came back and find out Won Yo Il. The story end there it's also complete his first season with lots and lots smut on it. Maybe after reading it you start feeling lonely. So why don't you become my friend by subscribing this channel. And leave a comment for your semipi. Tell me in comment box which one is your favorite among them I hope you like it. I meet you in next time. With more and more recommendations so hope you enjoyed. Bye bye for now.